Hello and welcome to the Suffer Club. My name is Aaron and this probably looks different than the normal videos that are on this channel. This year, I'm going to do something a little bit different. See, I'm a motion graphics artist and videographer by trade. So a lot of the videos, I've tried to have a level of production that has been kind of helping me hone in my craft for years. But I'm going to try to do something a little different. I'm going to try to have some live videos that are behind the desk with some friends uh, virtually or via remote or some live interviews. Just something that's a little bit different than what I normally deliver. Now, I will still have uh, produced videos that are tell a story, but they may not be delivered in the same way. My goal is to deliver a new video every Thursday at 5 p.m. So today's video, Thursday, 5 p.m. Next Thursday, you can come back to the Suffer Club YouTube channel and there'll be a new video. It'll be premiering, it'll be live right here. I'm really excited about next week's video, but I don't want to talk too much about it, but it, it, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to show you a video at the end of this video that sets up for next week, but before we do that, let's talk about 21. So in 2020, I had some pretty big goals. Uh, as you saw in the last video, I wanted to move for 20 hours and 20 minutes, and I was able to make that happen. Now, it was not pretty. It, it wasn't. Like, there was a lot of things that I could have done better with that. My nutrition was garbage. You saw I didn't have the proper clothes, but I was able to achieve that goal, which I am very proud that I did, but it wasn't pretty. And so there are some things that I have this year goals, but I wanted to throw this question out and I would love for you to put in the chat what your goals are for 2021 as it's related to sports or fitness. I mean, you could put other goals that you have in business or in life, but as it's related to sports and fitness, what are some of the goals that you have for 2020, uh, 2021? Um, for me, I've tried to break it down a little bit differently because I have a pretty big goal that I want to achieve pretty quickly in the year, but I want to Everest on a bicycle. So I want to climb the elevation distance of Mount Everest on a bicycle at one time. And uh, me and a friend are going to do it, but I, just honestly, I don't think my quads can handle it. So in the month of January, my focus and my goal has been on quads. Uh, and it's been something that I've been focusing on for for not just January, but in the month of December. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Sean, put out this challenge to uh, some of my running buddies the, to start streaking. And if you don't know what streaking is, streaking is running uh, a consistent distance every day and seeing how long you can keep that running streak alive. Well, uh, it's we all set up a one mile challenge that we would run for one mile every day. And we started at Thanksgiving and we were able to do it in the rain and the cold. And it was something that I kept up until the day before uh, the day before New Year's. Uh, and I got this massive stomach bug that took me out. Like I was determined to run and the streaking club is still going on. There's guys that have been running, I think, now for 47 days. Uh, one of our friends, Tim Womble, is still going after it. And uh, Sam, a guy that you'll see in a video here shortly, they're still going after it. And these are goals that they have achieved. And uh, through that streak, I was trying to work on my quads and get my knees up higher so that I could go faster. And, and it's just been a goal that I am trying to work on because I want to Everest on a bicycle. So I tell all of you that because I'm going to put it out there so I hold myself socially accountable. Yeah, socially accountable. And so if you want to be socially accountable, you can put what your goal is in the chat uh, in the comments, and I will comment back to you. I will take these notes, and I will put reminders to ask you uh, to reach back in the chat and ask you how your goals are going uh, periodically, because uh, that's a lot about the Suffer Club is community and is really trying to encourage people. Uh, a lot of the people that are close to me that are not just through the web or through social, um, my goal is to help encourage them 
is to keep them in the fight longer, to keep them working out. And it's just something that um, I love doing. I love encouraging people. That's why I create the content that I do around the Suffer Club, because I want people to see that this average, ordinary guy can, you know, achieve some pretty crazy things by just some sheer determination and a little bit of stickiness. And so uh, I want to leave you with this as we transition to the next part, uh, to be happy with the results you get from the effort that you put in. This year in 2021, if you're not getting the effort, if you're not getting the results you want, look at the effort that you're putting in. Um, In 2020, I found out that I could achieve some pretty amazing things by just upping my effort, not necessarily reprogramming what I was doing, just increasing the effort that I was giving toward that goal I was trying to reach. And so just remember this this year, be happy with the results you get from the effort that you put in. If you give it your everything and you still fail, you gave it your everything. Now, if you don't give it your everything and come up short, give it your everything. Don't leave anything else out on the table. But that is a great transition to what I'm about to share with you. Uh, A few weeks ago, I got this crazy invite from a good friend, Sam. And we're going to be breaking down this video next week. But I wanted to show you this bike ride that we did in the mountains of North Carolina. Here it is. Today, it's a comfortable 28 degrees. Is that close? Can we say close to that? We're here to do a little fun ride. Uh, It's a 70 mile gravel slash road. So we have Samuel, Eric, Wes, Carmen. Uh, They're gonna be supporting. Well, we just came through Lake James. Just climbed the freaking hardest climb I have ever done in my entire life. It's, uh, I think this is 105. We have two pro photographers here. Carmen is up there taking photos and Wes has the big gun, the 100 to 500, I think is what it is. So in the last mile and a half, we've done 800 feet of climbing. This is the steepest hill I've ever done. Well, this is incredible. stay with you back there what an epic downhill oh my gosh dude I cannot wait for next week where Eric, Sam, and Wes, and I break down this ride. Man, this was a very hard ride. I've done some crazy things. I've rode my bike 
all the way across the Blue Ridge Parkway from one side to the other. I've rode from Charlotte, North Carolina to the Florida line. I've done 200 mile rides, but I don't know if I've done something that required this much effort. And so I cannot wait for next week to break that down and talk about it uh, with those guys. But join me next Thursday, 5 p.m., where we talk about this. Listen, if you want to be socially accountable, be held socially accountable, put your goals in the comments. And uh, yeah, share this video. If you've liked it, please give it a thumb up, thumbs up, hit that uh, subscribe button if you've not. And I will see you next week right here at the Suffer Club. Adios.